I miss buying hair products. I used to have... Whoa, 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 hold on. Before we proceed, I just want to wish everybody a happy holidays, whatever that holiday is you might celebrate. I mean, whatever, that's your business. We gained almost 3,000 subscribers to the Get Rubik's channel this year. It's just been a great year, and I want to thank everyone. I never say like and subscribe. I think it's lame. I do want to point out when you do subscribe, it does help. It means that we can continue to do this and make this content for you if you like it. And our plan is to keep the momentum going in 2026 with obviously more content, uh, more members only content. And then additionally, we have a lot of fun new stuff you're going to see this year. So to everyone who's watching, subscribing, following, if you're in the discord, just a tremendous thank you from myself and the Get Rebix family, because none of this would be possible without you. Let's go back to this opening bit. I believe it's about my hair. I used to have hair and I used like different gels and 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 like a cream thing to, to spike it up. Oh, I looked amazing. It was uh, it was incredible. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. And I'm going to show you all the changes coming in 2026 to the M365 E3 and E5 products as it pertains to getting the Intune suite included. Very exciting stuff. I mean, maybe there's something to spike. Like sometimes if I don't do the head shave, there's enough, you know, there to get something going. Oh, I don't like that. That's a very judgmental look. Get Rubik's solving for the modern workplace. Okay, why are we looking at our own YouTube page? Well, it's not just because we missed the taco and pop tart. Apparently there was a corn on the cob guy at one point. Man, I, I don't know what was going on with these. This is a playlist I did going back about two years ago, talking about the Intune suite and all the products that were included in it. Now in the last two years, some things have come a long way. A lot of the features in the Intune suite uh, have gotten enhancements, they've gotten better. Uh, you know, we just did a series on endpoint privilege management, but I think the problem for a lot of folks is the cost, the money, as it were, the bread. And you know me, I always try to not talk about that aspect in these videos because this is more about the technology, but it's undeniable if you want Intune Suite, there's an additional cost and it's substantial. Yes, the products inside the Intune Suite, most of them have been made available as add-ons, but by the time you're at two or three add-ons, you might as well be buying the suite and now you have a whole other product. So the real question was for folks who already have uh, M365, E3, and E5, and they want these capabilities, why would they go with the Intune add-ons as opposed to something third-party if they have to pay anyway? Well, in a very shocking turn of events, um, just recently, Microsoft said, hey, listen, we're going to include all of the Intune suite features in M365, E5, and uh, a subset of them in E3. So everybody's gonna get some. And I wanted to take a moment to explain to you exactly how that's going to break down. So this is a fantastic use case for the whiteboard. Okay, so we have E3 and E5, and let's talk about what's available from an add-on perspective within Tune Suite. Okay, so here's all the pieces we got. First up is remote help. Basically, it's like a team viewer or a logman or a bombgar platform that's built right into Intune and there has been some mixed feelings on this. My personal thoughts have been, you know, it, the fact that it integrates directly into Intune and it's there uh, is really good. There is not an unattended option, so you definitely need a user to grant you access into the machine. But as far as being able to help users by remoting into the PCs, it's a very solid option. And I'll tell you what, it'll be even more solid once it's included in E3. So that'll be part of M365 E3, which pretty much means everyone is going to get it because if it's included in E3, they're also gonna include it in E5. So you're gonna get the same stuff. So remote help across the board, this is a big win. And for some folks, it's definitely gonna save them money. Uh, advanced analytics. Now this is something I don't think enough folks have touched on. Advanced analytics gives you really good information into your PC fleet. It gives you the ability to do real-time device query. So you can run KQL queries and get stuff back in real time from a device like cert information, processes, 
file information. I mean, all, all kinds of great stuff. You can see the resource performance, battery health, any kind of anomalies. You also see detailed device timelines. So you can see uh, any events that cause problems and you can troubleshoot. Um, and this is definitely a big win. Now that is also going to E3. So very happy about that. And of course, E3 means it's an E5, so we can rejoice. What the hell is Intune Plan 2? I think that is a very uh, common question for a lot of folks. So let's look at Intune Plan 2 by itself and let's look at what is inside that. Okay, so when you unpack Intune Plan 2, it comes with a very interesting set of services. So uh, the first is the MAM tunnel. Uh, that means mobile application management tunnel right, which is almost like a secure per app VPN for mobile devices. This has come in handy quite a bit, especially, you know, when your your apps have to access internal resources, right? So it's definitely a very popular product and probably the most worth it in here. Not that it matters because you're going to get included. Special device management. Uh, think uh, AR, VR headsets, smart screens, some meeting room devices. So you're going to get additional management capabilities there. And in a very specific turn of events, uh, Zebra firmware over the air update. So if your organization uses those Zebra Android devices, that'll come in there. So we're going to put that here like that because you also get it in E5. Now let's get to the heavy artillery. Uh, these are arguably, well, these two, at least <laughs> we'll start with enterprise app management at the bottom. So depending on what your needs are, uh, enterprise app management gives you automatically packaged win 32 apps in Intune for your, uh, PCs that are managed. The catalog has gotten a bit better. So if you click enterprise app catalog and select, uh, you can search it for, you know, there's a good amount of apps. Uh, if you go to, let's see if Chrome is here now. Yeah. So Google Chrome is here. You'd be able to select it. Uh, there's one version available. It's self updating, so you really can't control updates with it, but it's pre packaged and it's here. You don't have to package it yourself. And there's, you know, I would say a few hundred apps, I believe. I don't know the exact number. The point is, it's there, and I still believe products like Robopack give a better patching experience, even though they're third party. We could just do a lot more, a lot more automation and orchestration. But at the end of the day is if you have uh, Microsoft E5, you're going to get this included and free is good. And if it fits your needs, that's a great thing. So you're going to get that in E5. The last ones, which I believe are the best products in all of Intune Suite. So EPM, obviously because endpoint privilege management, we've been doing some videos on it recently, the ability to elevate uh, certain users for certain applications automatically or with a support approval or with some kind of prompt on their end. It's a great platform. The integration is perfect into Intune um, and I've seen nothing but success with it. So I'm a big advocate. I know there's a few folks in the comments It ruined your life apparently, but you know, to each his own and you're going to get that in E5. And finally, Cloud PKI. If you've set up Endes or Skep and you know you know the pain there, uh, Cloud PKI takes all of 10 minutes to set up, and you have uh, you know your own infrastructure in Intune to issue uh, device authentication certificates, user certificates. It's been one of the best things Microsoft has put out in recent years, and that's going to be included in E5. So let's just take a look for a moment. Uh, so you can see there's a substantial amount of stuff coming to E3, right? I like the fact that everyone's going to get remote help and advanced analytics. Plan two, I think you would have to have a, you know, very specific need for one of these in order for you to get really excited over that. But you know what? It's there anyway. So good stuff. And then of course, with uh, the heavy hitters, if you have E5, you're going to get these included. And I think this makes sense, right? E5 was originally looked at as not the end all be all, but it's the Cadillac package. You're paying more money to get a, a whole plethora of Microsoft modern, you know, security and productivity features baked into this product. It makes sense that you're going to get all of these now within it. So hopefully that breaks it down and kind of clarifies where we are. 
from what I understand, these changes aren't taking place till 2026, maybe mid-year. Obviously, stay close to the Microsoft docs. I'll post a link to the official announcement so you can read a lot of this yourself. No doubt, awesome early Christmas present for Microsoft to do this, especially for me with the amount of folks complaining about add-ons and you know the cost of that and i get it right no one wants to spend more money but to turn around and do this a uh, major win i think this is going to be a game changer for intune let me know your thoughts about it uh tell me what you're thinking in the discord channel and we'll be seeing you